Hey guys, it's Brian with AutoHowToVideos.com. Uh, we're in the shop again at First Stop Auto with Willie B. Uh, we're actually going to be taking a look at my $600 Honda Accord, affectionately known as Rusty. You may have seen it on $1000Autos.com. It's my daily driver. Uh, I woke up this morning, went to drive it, having a little bit of a clutch issue. Noticed that my clutch pedal was getting soft. This car has a hydraulic clutch, and if you own a vehicle with a hydraulic clutch, you will run into this problem eventually. It could be either your clutch wearing out, could be problems with the hydraulic system. So what we're going to do real quick is walk you through how to do a quick and easy diagnosis. Uh, we're here in a nice warm shop with lifts, but obviously you don't need any special tools or anything else. This is something you can easily do in your driveway. So we're gonna start by uh, having Willie really B walk you through the diagnosis first, and then we're gonna show you how to fix the problem. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're inside my car right now. I'm just going to explain really quickly uh, a little bit of the problem and what's going on here so you guys can see it for yourselves. Basically, if we look down here on the clutch pedal, now all clutches have what's known as end play. End play is basically this little bit of movement right here where you just rest your foot. That is actually the rod itself uh, in that gap between it touching the cylinder and the master cylinder. Now what's going on here and what I noticed is that like I'll even show you using my hand, if I push, the clutch is going almost halfway down and it's right around here is where I'm feeling the pressure. Now most clutches shouldn't be too easy to push with your hand or your arm, but this clutch is going quite a bit farther down than normal when I feel it disengaged. Normally I feel it come right around here or so, but I'm feeling it come much farther down and so that's where we're noticing a problem. Now I'm going to put in a camera shot, but when we see up under here, you probably can't see it now, the master cylinder where the rod goes in is actually actually dripping a little bit of fluid and that's a big problem uh Come back up here, and basically, what's going on? And like Willie B will tell you, if you if you see even a slight leak, if the master cylinder looks wet, you may have a problem. May or may not need to replace that master cylinder. Mine is actually showing a little bit of a drip, even. But for right now, what we're probably going to do is just bleed the hydraulics and see if the problem fixes. If it continues, then we may look at swapping out some parts too. So uh, we're going to come around on the hood side and let Willie B show you how to get started fixing this. Real quick, here's that camera shot I was telling you about. You can see that little bit of moisture, that kind of glare coming off the master cylinder. That's actually where the fluid was leaking on that a little bit. So we're going to go around the other side and let Willie B show you the rest of the diagnosis. What's up, guys? Willie B here. All right, first step in the hydraulic clutch diagnostics. First thing we want to do, of course, check your fluid level. Well, you're going to find the fluid level in your master cylinder reservoir. And there's several different types. Some of them, actually, on this Honda, it's a separate cylinder. It's usually smaller, and it uses the same type of fluid as your brake, which is dot three or dot four, depending on which car you have. Some uh, systems actually use the same reservoir as your brake master cylinder, but you'll see a little hose come off the bottom of it, and it'll run over to your master cylinder, which is on your firewall down in here. Sometimes they're hard to see. On this one, of course, twist the cap off. And if there is any contaminants or dirt around here that's excessive, you might try and remove it with a rag or something so you don't contaminate any fluid that's in there. Remove the cap. This one's always got this little baffle in here. Remove that, of course, obviously we're very low. Fluid should be up above this, and this will always float. Um, and this one's obviously not floating anymore, so it's obviously low. Now the next question is, is why is it low? Uh, this stuff doesn't dissipate, it doesn't evaporate, uh, at least not when the cap is good and sealed anyway. So we obviously have a leak somewhere. So the first step would be, obviously check your hoses going and your connections all the way to your master cylinder, and then you'll see a, a steel brake line, which is your high pressure side of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of your system. Follow it, and you'll, sometimes they're very lengthy, like this one. It actually comes along the firewall, down under the engine somewhere, comes back around here, and this is your slave cylinder down here. This slave cylinder on this Honda, and as, uh, as well as most other Japanese imports, is an external slave cylinder. Alright guys, once you find your slave cylinder, You'll want to know, uh, you'll find a rubber boot around it, and that's a dust boot. It's to keep contaminants out of your seal. Um, and then you'll also find a bleeder screw, and you'll find your clutch fork here, and then of course inside here is your push rod. Now, first thing you want to do is, sometimes it'll, the, the leak will be evident, and this rubber will be obviously wet. 
This one's not quite so evident, but whoop, if you pull this boot back and you see fluid come out, or even if it's wet or damp, it is leaking. This one's obviously leaking pretty bad. It's full of fluid, but it could have, this could be leaking from six months, and it just filled it up. All right. All right. First thing we're going to do is start bleeding the system. First thing we're going to do is get you some whatever the fluid specifications are on your cap, which is dot three or dot four. Most are dot three. Here's dot three. It's very important that either you have a new can or a can that's always been sealed up tightly. Uh, brake fluid will take on moisture very fast. It will ruin very fast. And when you get moisture in it, it boils not good. Also, be careful not to spill it on the paint or anything you don't want brake fluid on because this will eat paint extremely fast. I mean, once you get on paint, there's nothing you can do about it. Top it up. Be sure to replace your cap because it might squirt out as we start bleeding the system. Now what we're going to do is, he's going to pump the pedal several times. I'm going to crack the bleeder loose down here on the slave cylinder. First couple of times you might not really get much of anything, maybe no air, maybe no fluid. Just keep trying. Uh, you sh then soon you should start getting a little bit of fluid and air, it'll be real bubbly. Um, and then continue on until you have no bubbles at all coming out of your bleeder screw. Once you do, and always tighten your bleeder screw down while the pedal is still totally depressed so you don't suck in any air back in the system. Don't work against yourself. All right guys, first thing we need to do is it's very important that you work as a team and communicate very well doing this so you don't work against yourself, suck air in the system. So Brian, I need you to pump the pedal several times and hold it all the way to the floor. Oh. All right, now I'm gonna open the bleeder screw up. And we do have a little bit of fluid and air coming out on the first pump, that's cool. All right, I've got the bleeder closed. Now Brian, let up and pump some more. And each time you open the bleeder screw, the, the pedal will go all the way to the floor and feel like you have nothing and you'll have to start over. So it's very important that you do get plenty of pumps in between uh, opening the bleeder. Okay guys, so we just got done uh, bleeding the clutch, as you just saw. Uh, I was able to fire up the car, back it up and forth a little bit. Uh, everything feels pretty good now too. It feels a lot better than when I came in. But, uh, one thing to keep in mind, based on the leakage we saw in the slave cylinder, there is a very good chance I'm probably going to have to replace it. I just pulled it in to diagnose it tonight, so we're not going to go over that. That'll actually probably be in the new video if we do wind up having to do that. Uh, big thing to keep in mind, if what we've done tonight was basically more or less just with the hydraulics. If you do these different checks, everything looks good and you're still seeing weak pressure uh, or the, the car is slipping, it looks like you may have a clutch problem and you're probably gonna wanna look into that a lot further. Uh, but for right now, uh, I mean, everything seems to feel pretty good and this is really something, uh, you can have a little bit of differences in the models, but this can apply to really just about any vehicle with a manual transmission and a hydraulic clutch. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, definitely leave comments. If you have questions about your own project, uh, feel free to put them in. Myself or Willie B will definitely be able to answer them for you. And if you're looking for more great automotive how-to videos, be sure to go to uh, autohowtovideos.com and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, guys.